um, we recorded those in Pro Tools. And on our recording notes here, we have number three, four, and six. Um, six is apparently the good one. So we're going to just sort them by date modified. And here it is. Um, number six, just going to give it a little color. Those are purple here. Let's make it green. And number three, let's make this one orange. We have basically three good drum takes. This is number six, number four, and number three. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drag those into Logic, Shift Select, and drag them in. Uh, Logic is asking if we want to make new tracks. Of course we do. So let's just import it. Okay. Uh, line it left. Then I'll just make a little gap here so I'm not too confused. We used the color purple for these takes, so we're just going to take the same color for our regions. Then let's take the green ones, boom, green. Okay, now we got all our drum tracks in the project. You gotta sort these. So where's our kick? There's the kick. I like having my kick on track one. So I'm just gonna move all the kicks together here. Next, I like to have my snare. Snare, boom, snare, snare. And the really important thing here is to keep the same order for all your tracks. So you have purple, green, orange for the kick, and then purple, green, orange for the snare. You got kick, snare, overhead top, overhead floor, crotch mic, hi-hat, and room. And these are all in the same order. It's always purple, green, orange for the different takes. And then what you do, you just select all your kicks and right click folder pack take folder and what this does is it makes a take folder and then you can just comp your takes this part here you want the purple ones and then you go for the green ones and then again purple uh, i like this fill here so i'm gonna take this one and you do the same thing with all the tracks boom F, control command F. Um, boom. Okay. Now, first of all, this looks much more compact, so I'm gonna delete those tracks here. And the next thing we want to do is group those. I'm gonna take group one, click here, group settings, drums, and this here is the important thing. So we got all our tracks here. Switch on flex, where is it? It's here. Let's go for slicing. This kind of works well for drums. Now this is going to analyze every track and every take. Okay, it's all done. If you expand this, I'm gonna take the room mic because every transient is on this one. That's a snare, I guess. Mm -hmm. So let's say we wanna move this one around. Just take that and grab it. And you can see it updates every other track. If I expand this one here, the hi-hat, it creates the same markers, uh, same flex markers for every track. So you move it around in one track 
and it's gonna update all the other tracks. So the cool thing here is you can disable flex view. So let's try this take. It sounds weird, so let's try this one. The cool thing is it doesn't sound weird because all the other mics are updated. So if I go to the crotch mic here, you see the same edit. It's purple, orange, purple. And on every other mic, same thing. And once you've done all your comping, you can go to flex view and just say, okay, I like that sound, but I didn't like where it started. So you can just, you know, move it around. Actually like this. Uh, let's put it here and all the other tracks update. So that's it. That's drum comping and logic for you.